Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we've got a, uh, it's a fuel system out of a particular brand of generator. Uh, and this thing, there is a service bulletin on it. I wouldn't really say it's a recall, just a bulletin. Uh, involving this corrosion that happens down here at the base. Now this machine had a bunch of, of uh, landscaping mulch and all kinds of stuff around it. And so this area down here at the bottom was always moist. And that's what really accelerated all of this corrosion. Now I don't know how deep the corrosion goes into the steel. Uh, that's one of the things I'm gonna find out. But you know, this is LP gas inside of this little tank. It's at uh, 10 inches of water column and it's only really under pressure when the generator is running or trying to run but still there's still gas in there and that still looks dangerous and i still have to sleep at night so i always change these if i start seeing corrosion on these like this to where the paints come off i'm going to change these uh these assemblies out uh, you know that's the difference between a generator guy and some carpet bagger with a screwdriver in his pocket that'll work for nine dollars an hour uh, these aren't cheap but if a failure occurs it can get very expensive in a hurry so i'm going to take this thing apart i'm going to take the regulator off of it i'm going to take the solenoid assembly off of it and then i'm going to go get my yanking back and forth saw and we're going to slice this thing open and just see how deep the rust goes So here it is, got the, the business end took off of it. And uh, that's what we're dealing with. So now we've got her sawed in two here. And uh, now I have taken a, a dull knife and kind of scraped some of the burrs off of it where I sawed it. But uh, I have not filed this or anything. Now you can see, here's the edge of a utility knife blade next to the steel right here. And somehow or another, just by luck, I saw it down through a pit uh, in, the, in the metal. <coughs> the, if you get out here on some metal that's undamaged, it's about 43, 44 thousandths of an inch thick. Now, naturally, when this is formed, <coughs> it's drawn or stamped or however it's formed, the, the corners are gonna be a little bit thinner anyway, just from the manufacturing process. And if I go up here to the, the far opposite corner, I get 41 thousandths. Of course, that's counting a little bit of paint too. But, you know, you got, at least 40 thousandths of, of metal from the factory. And I'm gonna reach down here and grab right on the edge. If I can do that without knocking the camera down. That's 19 thousandths of metal left. And I actually think it's a little bit less than that because I'm not, not grabbing right in there. There's 16 thousandths. So yeah, I've got 16 thousandths of metal left in there out of 40 or 44 thousandths. So you can see now, just even if it looks reasonable from the outside, just how bad it can be on the inside or through the wall where nobody can see it. I was kind of halfway surprised to see some of the surface rust inside of the tank. I didn't expect that. But anyway, uh, hope you all enjoyed this. I hope this can be some sort of an aid to somebody. I hope you can get something out of this. Uh, please like, subscribe, check out some of my other videos uh, and share. Give me a thumbs up, all that jazz. Well, y'all drive safe. Watch for deer.